Now we are going to try the park assist feature. So we'll have uh, perpendicular parking and parallel parking as well. Let's see how it does both of them. So for that, I'm enabling the park assist feature. All right, now the car is going to sense the parking spaces available. I'll draw it and drive slowly forward so that the car can sense the parking spaces. So the car, uh, as I said, uh, there was a, a, sp a space uh, behind, so it was able to sense uh, the parking space. And now it is asking us to choose this um, uh, information symbol. So let's choose that. And you can see that it is asking for options, like whether you want to do the bay parking or you want to do the parallel parking. Uh, so it, based on whatever, uh, option you choose the car is going to do that. So let's do the parallel parking here uh, I'm going to select that Parallel parking I've selected it So it's saying to start parking take hands off the steering wheel and release the brake So I've taken my hands off the steering wheel I'm slowly going to take my foot off the brake pedal and uh, Then you can see the car is moving Right, you can also see the path which the car is going to take. So yeah, you can see how the vehicle is parked right now. Uh, so the car itself has done the parking you can see the space uh, the parallel uh, parking space and uh, it also judged the space which it needs to leave from one car and uh, the best part of the car is like uh, you don't even have to apply the brakes because it itself will detect any obstacle if there is some and then it will brake it will do the emergency braking uh, to make sure that you don't hit any other car or any obstacle that's in front or at the back or side so uh, that's the best part uh, and it can make it happen only because of the 360 degree camera and uh, the sensors all around so that's the beauty of it and the other thing is when it does the parking by itself you just have to uh, make sure that your foot is on the brake pedal uh, the rest of the stuffs like uh, handling the steering wheel and also shifting the gear from drive mode to reverse mode and everything is done by the car itself so that's how uh, automated the system is. So uh, I don't know uh, in which all cars uh, it is this much automated. The system will also assist in taking the car out of the parking once it is parked. So you just have to confirm the direction in which you want to take the car out. And the system will then bring the car into a position from where you can take control and get the car out of the parking. Doing the perpendicular parking now. Completed the perpendicular parking. We'll have to check from outside how well it has parked. So the car has done the perpendicular parking by itself. Uh, you can see the amount of space that it has left, and it's good to see that it was able to park well within the yellow lines, uh, which is great. Uh, like when you do the manual parking, this is the kind of uh, uh, efficiency uh, at which you can actually do uh, when you park a car of this size. When you come to the back side, 
it has left a space behind uh, because uh, there is obstacles at the back. Uh, you can see plants, uh, pot uh, available here because of which the sensors are able to sense them and uh, it will stop the car automatically. That's the reason why the car is a bit projected outwards now. Otherwise, it would have gone a bit more towards the back. Uh, so, um, altogether, when you take into account uh, the way uh, the park assist, uh, including the perpendicular parking and the parallel parking is done, uh, BMW has uh, done a greater job uh, refining the way uh, the car is able to do the parking, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so, uh, thumbs up to the way the park assist uh, is implemented in BMW.